Hey, how you guys doing? Chris Eager here at guns.com inside our uh, certified used gun warehouse. Got uh, 3,000 firearms here in the vault. More coming in every day. Um, let's talk about some Winchester uh, commemoratives. Started in 1964, the company started releasing small limited runs, one year only. Typically uh, Winchester Model 94 lever guns. These are American made guns. Uh, these days people are always like, you know, I want a, a nice collectible Winchester, but all I can find are Moroku made guns or guns made elsewhere overseas, blah, blah, blah. It's hard to find those nice 1960s, 1970s uh, New Haven Winchesters. Well, guess what? All these bad boys are, are New Haven roll marks, made in the 1960s, 1970s, early 1980s, all limited runs. And the cool thing about these commemoratives is they were instant collectibles. People bought them, put them in their closet, put them in their garage, put them in their safe, otherwise didn't touch them. So even though the boxes may be a little dinked up on the outside, you open them up, pull out a beautiful gun. Let's take a look at a few of them. All right, pass me that first one here. This is your cowboy commemorative. These bad boys were made only in 1970. About 27,000 were made. New Haven, uh, Connecticut. We got the medallion inlay. Great little 94 saddle ring. These are beautiful guns. Our next model is the Teddy Roosevelt, our 26th president. As you see, it's got inlays with TR on it. Nice octagon barrel. This is a 3030. Saddle ring. All sorts of really nice engravings. It's got the shorter magazine. These were only made in 1969. About 32,000 of these were made. This gun is in pristine condition. This is our Centennial 66. Came out in 1966. Celebrate 100 years of the Winchester Model 1866. It's a beautiful gun, octagon barrel. This is one of the more common Winchester commemoratives as over 100,000 of these were produced. Whereas on some of these runs, only 500 guns were made or 10,000 or 20,000. This was a very popular gun. They produced more than 100,000 to meet demand. However, this is a good American made 30-30. This bad boy right here with the extensive engraving on the, along the receiver is our Sheriff Bat Masterson edition. This is a rarer gun. Only about 8,000 of these were made. Beautiful model. See the Sheriff's inlay. See the stagecoach scenes. The Old West. This is a very desirable Winchester commemorative. Only made in 1979. Next up, we have a Cherokee. Showcases the Trail of Tears, beautiful gold finish, Model 94, 3030, Cherokee carbine. Notice you have gold on the magazine band, the barrel band, as well as on the magazine end cap. This is one of the more rare commemoratives. Only about 9,000 of these were made. They were only made in 1978. This beauty, a musket style, is your NRA Centennial Edition. The NRA was founded originally as a, a, by Union Army veterans in 1871. This gun came out in 1971 on the 100th anniversary of the organization. It's one of the few of the commemoratives that aren't a carbine, one of the very few that have the full length musket style hand guards. These are beautiful guns. This is a very popular model. Over 90,000 of these were made. However, this one is in excellent condition. Got the original box, paperwork. Our next model is the Frontiersman. This model came out in 1979. Beautiful 3030. New Haven, Connecticut roll marks. That's your inlay, round barrel. Almost 20,000 of these were made. It's a very popular model. It's not a carbine, it's your full length. These were sold as instant collectibles. Our next model is your Texas Lone Star. Lone Star commemorative. 
has the short magazine. For you Longhorn fans, hook them horns. This is a must have. Anybody who's into the Texas lifestyle, Texas way of life, looking for a beautiful 30-30 for the man cave, doesn't get any better than this. This bad boy came out in 1970. Texas Republic was founded in 1845. Some 38,000 of these models were made. The barrel's interesting as it goes from an octagon to a round barrel. Fans of a Duke, got this big lever, John Wayne commemorative, beautiful gun, lots of engravings on the receivers. This is not a 3030, this is a 3240. It's got a recreation of John Wayne's signature. Very functional, collectible gun. These guns were authorized by the Wayne Estate, produced in 1981 only. Fans of classic westerns, the Duke, excellent piece for Americana. Our final model, got a Buffalo Bill carbine, octagon barrel, saddle ring, that's your straight stock. Beautiful gun, 30-30, light engravings, but it does have a little bit of that Buffalo Bill showmanship to it with the deep finish, your bright furniture cap, bright saddle ring. This is one of the older commemoratives in Winchester series. This gun came out in 1968. Very popular, over 100,000 were made. We always have a good supply of these Winchester commemoratives in stock. On a lot of these models, we've got three or four examples to choose from. Uh, we've also got other models that we haven't featured. We get them in all the time. It's a pretty staple item that we, we keep here around the uh, vault. Again, 3,000, more or less, usually more, uh, certified used guns here in the vault. If you're interested in any of these Winchesters or anything else piques your fancy, just go ahead and click on through.